I have coffee, I have microphone, you get classic game room, here's a super cool game that combines beat-em-ups like Streets of Rage and Golden Axe with bullet hell spaceship shooters, it's The Red Star on PlayStation 2. Cheers. Oh yeah, that calms the shakes. Ah, the Red Star, based on a comic book I'm not familiar with. This is a fabulous, relatively obscure release that you should be familiar with, because it's tons of fun. Two great tastes that taste great together, comrade. I never heard about this game until Adam from the CGR crew loaned me his copy and swore up and down that I would love it. Well, fortunately for him, he was right. This game rocks. Sadly, it was released in 2007, back when nobody cared about games like this. Had it been released in the 90s, it would have been all the rage, because it's a very fun game. You can play one or two player, just like Golden Axe or Streets of Rage. You beat up bad guys, shoot them from a distance, and then fight these bullet hell style boss battles. I like the style and gameplay, but what really catches my attention is the fact that in the middle of Dodon Pachi or something, you're fighting enemies at the same time. And that's like an added unique challenge because it distracts you from just dodging bullets. And the Red Star mixes it up nicely. You'd think a game that tries to do two things at the same time would mess one of them up, but this strikes a good balance between the two. And it flows well together. You'll be fighting enemies, the camera rotates, then you're in a shooting scene, then you go back to fighting enemies, and then it mixes the two of them together. All the while delivering solid controls and incredibly tough gameplay. Once you get to about level 10, this is punishing. In fact, you may really want to call upon a friend to help you through the rest of the game at that point. The beat-em-up scenes are much harder for me. I'm, I'm awful at games like Golden Axe and Streets of Rage, and generally better at spaceship games. <laughs> so not surprisingly, I aced the spaceship level, which is good because you can spend your skill points, or whatever they are, on upgrades, and you'll want them. You can buy some new weapons, add attack, power, and defense. So the better you play, the better you'll do in the long run anyway. There's a couple characters to choose from when you start. The girl is faster, but the guy is slower and stronger, like other beat-em-ups. And I think speed is advantageous in the Red Star, as you're dodging bullets, trying to nimbly move about the battlefield machine gun bad guys, but if they have an orange shield up, you can't shoot through that, so you've got to break their shield first. All the while dodging laser beams and robots shooting missiles at you. What a wonderful game. How is this not super duper popular? Well, maybe it will be now. Two of the biggest problems I have with modern games are stealth scenes and the obsession with collecting things hiding in the corners. That really slows down the game. The Red Star is fast and furious. It's like an arcade game. It's tons of fun, and the levels aren't terribly long, so you don't have to sit down and play it for 10 hours at once. Although, if you can't make it through a level, it's game over, and you just have to try again. After listening to some ominous music, it's not that there aren't some great games with stealth and collecting, but I like games like this. Games that are just fast, relatively simple, and silly. The Red Star isn't trying to be a badass game, it's just trying to be a fun game, and it succeeds. The good news is it was probably a budget release when it was new. It's super cheap these days. This is the PS2 version, which I recommend. It's also available on the PSP. This one is worth picking up and playing. So thanks again, Adam. It's the Red Star. Highly recommended.